I've been asked a number of times what is my opinion about Aprilia Touareg. Honestly, I don't know. But today, I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna share everything with you. I'm gonna ride this beautiful motorcycle here on road, a little bit of dirt roads, and I'm gonna share my opinion. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. Ride by wire, definitely much better than uh, the one on the Tenere. Other than 30, 6,000 RPMs. Full throttle. I don't know why no one even discussed this. Welcome back. I have to correct myself. I said beautiful, but it's something that I don't really like. I mean the design of the front. But it doesn't mean that the motorcycle is bad. We're about to find out. And as I said, I'm gonna tell you everything. All right, first I would like to say a huge thank you to Roman to bring me this motorcycle here, because here in Bulgaria, we have one in the shop actually here in Varna, but test right, forget about it. So when people ask me, can you ride this or that motorcycle, ride it where? We don't have this chance. And thanks to Roman, now you're gonna see it. So thank you very much once again. My, my pleasure. Uh, I, I was in Bulgaria, so I mm. thought, yeah, why not do a little face-to-face -face with Pavlin? Thank you very much for everything. I'm sure that our watchers, our watchers will appreciate it. And they, will, they need to thank you actually, not me. No worries. <laughs> right. The first thing that I'm gonna do is to test the weight by pushing the motorcycle front, back, just move it like this a little bit to test the weight before you, we even start riding it. Now is the Aprilia. Whew, I can tell you, I feel it much, much lighter. Uh, one point for Aprilia, it is much lighter just to move it around and it is noticeable lighter let's sit on it this is my sitting position on the tenere i have full feet on the ground without any problems my arm rests on the handlebar yeah it is comfortable position for me yeah let's now try the aprilia Definitely lower seating position, definitely. I even bent my knees a little bit. Handlebar position, good. I actually need to bend a little bit more my, my knees when I sit, but the position is adjustable. So first impressions, yeah, it is good. I would like to show the difference uh, between my Tenere and Aprilia in terms of uh, suspension and uh, or the suspension travel but always keep in mind that on my itinerary this is not a stock spring so stock uh, shock absorber uh, spring i already changed them but now you can see visually how much uh, effort i need just to compress my itinerary to to compress it to the bottom and now you'll see the difference with the aprilia of course aprilia is with a stock suspension which is uh, set for some 170 80 kilograms even when I sit on it it's compressed a lot but when I press it it's like you can see it's it's much softer let's play this game like this with the Tenere uh, with the Aprilia let's play it now with the Tenere exactly the same it's it's much different much stiffer but again this is because I already changed the stock suspension the original suspension of the Tenere was exactly the same as Aprilia. So here, they are even. Another thing that is uh, noticeable immediately is the height of the Tenere compared to the height of the Aprilia. Aprilia is much lower, I'll say at least 10 centimeters, maybe more. I cannot really park one motorcycle next to another to show the difference, but the Tenere is at least 10 centimeters higher. And here is the petrol tank and you can see how high the engine is. 
and you can see on the Aprilia the engine is much lower and the actual petrol tank is actually here on that part here on the top is the air filter box so this makes it even lighter when you ride it and again one point for Aprilia this time in terms of suspension Tenere got 43 millimeters Kayaba forks and uh, Aprilia got also 43 millimeters. I don't know what is the brand. Roman, do you know the brand? Kayaba. Okay, Kayaba again, 43 millimeters. Uh, one small difference. Bolts are fully adjustable, compression and rebound. But Aprilia also got preload, so you you will be able to preload your forks and uh, shock absorber. On the Tenere, also shock absorber is with preload. So. One difference, one plus for uh, Aprilia. This is the preload on the front, on the forks. Regarding to the specifications, they said 204, maybe 205 kilograms for the Tenere, fully loaded with 16 liters of uh, petrol, 1.20 uh, antifreeze, 2.7 oil, and some brake liquids uh, for the Aprilia, the same 204, 205 kilograms, depends on that, what kind of source you are going to look, look at. The difference is that the petrol tank is 18 liters, which is mean 2 liters more compared to the Tenere. The same weight, so again, one more point for the Aprilia. It has 2 liters more and on the same weight and it is lower and it is noticeable lighter when you push it around. I'm going to tell you what is the difference when I ride it, but when you push it around, it is noticeable. We just discussed with Roman uh, about the petrol consumption on uh, both bikes and we agree that they're about the same. So with the Tenere with 16 liters, I can easily got 330, maybe 350 kilometers. I've done even once 400 kilometers with one petrol tank. And when I feel it, uh, finally, I've got two liters inside. So maybe Aprilia got a little bit higher petrol consumption just a little bit but it all depends on the rider so it's need to be tested from one rider in the same riding conditions which is impossible so these two liters that it has does not give that much or maybe nothing at all but it's good to be set let's now discuss the engine it's a parallel twin here and it delivers 72 73 74 horsepower i i told you i don't know exactly how much because the sources say something different on the Touareg, we've got, again, a uh, parallel twin. The CC here 660, here they say 700, but it delivers 80 horsepower. Basically, a little bit more than the Tenere. But the difference is that it delivers this 80 horsepower on 9,250 RPMs. On the Tenere, this 74 are delivered on 9,000 RPMs. So a little bit more RPMs here. So basically they've got about the same power. So please forgive me about the noise from my boots. They're squeezing a lot. But because I'm gonna ride this motorcycle after a while, that's why I've got my boots, so we have to live with it. Let's talk about the torque. It said 70 Nm on the Aprilia, 68 on the Tenere. Again, a little bit more RPMs here, so the truth is somewhere between. Ground clearance, Tenere, 240 millimeters, Aprilia 240 millimeters. Exactly the same, but one big but, one big plus for Aprilia, it has uh, 30 millimeters more suspension travel uh, front and rear than the Tenere. It has 240 front, 240 rear. Tenere have got 210 front, 200 rear. So uh, 30 millimeters more. Well, I don't know, for some people this might be significant, for some not, but it is what it is. Brembo brakes, Brembo calibers, brake rotors are 300 millimeters. On the Tenere, we also have got a brake so from Brembo, but the front rotors are 280 millimeters. A little smaller, 260 on the back, 260 on the back of the Aprilia. So, uh, we're gonna see the brake power later. Both got a normal cable, no hydraulic pumps nothing like that so the real brakes we're gonna test it after a while the Tenere have got a foldable brake pedal something that I really like and I wanted to have on my motorcycle the Aprilia is with the normal brake pedal which is mean that if you drop the bike 
you might bend it. It is much bigger, maybe better to use when you ride it. But in terms of durability, I'll put one point for the Tenere. Also something that I noticed now, you can see the side profile, see where the engine is here. So basically if you drop the bike, you cannot really hit the engine. You might damage the water pump, that's why I've got this protection here. But the side cover, I don't think that it will be easy to destroy it. On the Aprilia, it's a little bit different, it's more on the side compared to the Tenere. It's not that bad, but it is just a little bit different, something that I would like to show you. On the left side is more or less the same, both have got this extension here for the gears, the actual shift is here, the cover on the left, let's check the Aprilia, as I said, more or less the same. So, now you can see one difference that uh, many people discussed and uh, maybe you should pay attention as well. You can see on what position is the front sprocket. See where is the cover and where is the sprocket. And uh, how far from the ground it is. And now you can see this on the Tenere. See where is the cover and where is the sprocket. It has like five, six, maybe eight centimeters difference. And this actually helps a lot when you need to ride on the dirt roads. When your swing arm needs to move up and down when you go over the obstacles. And this is one of the things that really helps to control this motorcycle off-road. I cannot tell you exactly why, but it definitely helps. The front fender of the Aprilia is as it is, as you can see it. And it comes with this radiator guard as a standard. The bash plate is not uh, stock, it's different from as we Motech, so we're not gonna discuss it. On the Tenere, this is something that I really like, is the possibility to lift the fender with around almost a centimeter, so I can have a more gap here between my tire and the fender, and it's adjustable from here. Nothing like this on the Aprilia. I can, I can put two fingers, but very, very difficult, as you can see. With my Tenere, I can put it easy. So as I said, one centimeter difference. The Tenere also got a guard on the radiators, comes stocks. Roman told me something, I was not sure, so I decided to check. Uh, the handlebar of the Aprilia, it's wider. It's, you can see almost 91 centimeters, 90.5 compared to the handlebar of the Tenere, which is 86. But, but, keep in mind that I shorten it a little bit, the um, weight of the handlebar, it's, it will be probably like 87, it's still like 3 cm difference, I don't mind, but usually when the handlebar is wider, it's a little bit easier to control it. And here I have to confess one big plus for the Aprilia, it has two blessed tires. I know that many people love this option, so Aprilia, I've got two blades tires, the Tenere is with the old-fashioned tubes. I personally don't mind to have tubes, it would be nice to have two blades tires, but I'm okay with the tubes. But here we have to put one plus for the Aprilia. One seat flat for Aprilia, two seats flat for Tenere. You can order one seat flat, but it will cost you like 300 euros and it's a little bit even higher. So it is definitely not for everyone. The seat height of the Tenere is 86 centimeters and as you saw at the beginning of the video it's a little bit shorter than the Tenere. So on the Tenere you have to be at least 180 to have a flat feet. Maybe on the Aprilia will be a little bit better for short riders. We just discussed the seats so Roman said that Soft seat is very good at the beginning, but not really good on the long days. Uh, my opinion is exactly the same. The Tenerife got a little bit harder seat, but honestly, I'm perfectly fine with this seat with only this 3D mesh on the top. It makes a big difference. So the Aprilia have got a little bit softer seat. I really like how they finish it here to the top. This is very good when you ride. 
about the same on the Tenere, but not that high. So design of the seat, I'll say Aprilia made it better. I never liked the design of the petrol cup of the Tenere. Okay, mine is a little bit worn out already, but I never liked this design because you see how it stay. So when you have a tango back, it stay. Oh, it's a, it's a wrong design. For example, you can see what is on the old Tenere. And this is what I like to see on the new Tenere. But anyway, they decided to have this ugly petrol cup. I like this. But when I saw the cup of the Aprilia, it made me even laugh. I told that uh, the ugliest cup that I have seen is on the Tenere, but actually it is on the Aprilia. It looks like a petrol cup for scooter from 90s, something like that. So come on Aprilia, you can make something better. The design of the tail, I think, again, it depends on the, on the person. It's nice on the Aprilia, it looks like made from Ducati. It's definitely shorter. The stock tail of the Tenere, it's different than mine. The stock is up to here with all of these plastics. The indicator stays somewhere here. I cut everything. I definitely like the more the, the light of the Tenere compared to the Aprilia. But again, it is a, a personal preference for everyone. Front, uh, I told you, I don't like the face of Aprilia. I don't like it at all. I don't know what the designers were thinking. Italians are usually the best designers, but in my opinion, not in this situation. I prefer the clear view of the Tenere. Looks like Dakar bike, but again, this opinion is subjective. All right, when we come now to the handlebar, to the controls and uh, dashboard, we're gonna discuss the dashboard later, but let's see first uh, the build quality, the buttons, the handlebar, the holders, everything looks much better than the Tenere. I have to confess this build quality here looks, looks much, much better. Let's me compare it to the Tenere. It's much more simple on the Tenere, simple buttons. Looks cheapy compared to the Aprilia. But it is what it is. The dashboard, it's another story. Very simple on the Tenere, nothing here to play, no modes, nothing. Uh, only ABS, which is switchable with one button. If you hold this button, you don't have ABS. If you hold it again, you have it. If you uh, turn off your engine and start it again, it's go automatically uh, compared to the Aprilia where you've got this uh, TFT colorful display with a lot of features to play, uh, different modes here, off-road, individual, explore, urban, and I'm not going to dive deep on all of this. I will just tell you that if you go to off-road mode, it's automatically off the traction control and ABS with uh, one important moment that here is the cruise control, it has cruise control as well, that if you accidentally press this button, which is on the cruise control, it will automatically activate the traction control and ABS. So you should keep this in mind, but definitely much better uh, TFT display. Many people will love it. Uh, cruise control, traction control, uh, different modes. This is something that Tenere hasn't got, I personally, don't like it, but not everyone is like me. Another option that Aprilia have got and Tenere hasn't got, it's right by wire. So the throttle comes from wire and they said that it delivers this smoothness in the throttle compared to the Tenere, which is more like a dirt bike. When you twist the throttle of the Tenere, it starts very quick. You have this kick here, supposed to be very smooth. We're gonna check this while I ride. This is not something that I really prefer to have because uh, cables are something easy to fix. Right by wire, it's a different system. I don't really like this system, but it might be uh, very good when you ride and many people I'm sure that will prefer to have it. All of this here is not stock. He has a big tablet that keeps here for navigation. The design of the mirrors is good. We're gonna see how good they are uh, when I'm on the road. It has a, a cable clutch, very soft, like the Tenere. This is good. Yeah, no more buttons here, all clear. Looks good. 
Catholic converter AC on the front, very similar as the Tenere. The muffler stock muffler is huge. So the same with the Tenere. I'm gonna start the engine after a few minutes to show you the sound. So here is the catalytic converter of the Tenere. Yeah, I think that this is bigger and heavier. But I cannot confirm it for sure. Uh, this protection here is optional. It is not coming stock. The crash guard I already told you. The skid plate is different. It hasn't got any handles here exactly like the Tenere, the stock Tenere. So to have handles here is something really <clears throat> they need to have it because otherwise it's very uncomfortable to move your motorcycle. That, that's why I've got this one. But it is the same with the Tenere. So basically they, they made exactly the same stock features. The passenger pegs big. The same with the Tenere. They are very big. Yeah, stock come with Pirelli STR tires. The same with the Tenere. More or less, they are the same bikes. The moment I am on this explore mode, I'm gonna keep it for now, which is mean traction control works, ABS works, everything works. The sound of the engine and the muffler. I'm gonna compare it later with the sound of my tenere. I can tell you immediately that uh, the problem with the, the, with the suspension is exactly the same when I've got with my Tenere. Because the springs are soft, I feel the suspension hard. Even that we have made the maximum preload that is possible to, to be done on, on these forks. I think it's noisier than the Tenere. More... The engine, I mean, it's noisy. But we're gonna see it. Standing position as it is at the moment stock. It's it's fine to me. I don't need any bar risers or anything Visibility on the dashboard excellent It definitely has this smoothness in the throttle because of this ride-by-wire system But I think that it has some kind of delay in the response I'm gonna check it more with more details later. The gear counter is also visible here on the right hand side. I definitely feel it much lighter than my Tenere. It has power, but I feel it like it's like something choking the filter. This is how I feel it. It has power, but it comes with some kind of delay. You twist the throttle and it makes like this and then start to accelerate maybe because the filter box is here and I actually hear it when I write but uh, it feels exactly like someone got it for the throat and cannot breathe properly
definitely feel it lighter, but I also feel it underpowered compared to the tenere. Maybe it's just the impression that this sound gives. Right by wire, definitely smoother. It does not have this kick, or at least not that noticeable. Brakes are good. More brakes. I cannot say that the brakes are better than Tenere, more or less the same. Let's try it again. The same brakes, yeah. This was Explorer mode, let's go now to this off-road mode, which is supposed to have traction control off and ABS off, or at least this is what they said. I cannot see that traction control is off. Hmm. Ah, okay, ABS is off, I can see it now here. Yeah. Roman told me something that he played with the compression and rebound and I probably should uh, adjust this as well but at the moment it's just not good at all it's jumping like a goat does not work at all the pegs are wide enough the control from the pegs is uh, very good Changing the gears, gear shifts is very accurate, very smooth, no problems whatsoever, but the suspension is just crap, absolutely crap. I don't know what people like so much about this Aprilia, but the stock suspension is, I'll say, worse than the Tenere. It might be because of the preload that I have done, but I'm gonna try it again with the standard preload. It is just, all the bumps are going to to the frame, not to the suspension. It is not that uh, it is so bad that you cannot travel with it or you cannot go on the dirt roads. No, it's all right, but it's nothing different than the Tenere stock suspension. I think that it's even, even worse than the Tenere stock suspension. I don't know why. It's just the feeling that I've got. And that the sounds that all of these plastics gives from the bumps it's not something that uh, I will enjoy one after another one after another so on a bad road like this I will give one plus for the tenere go to the normal roads the good news is that you can change this on the fly so I'll go to explore again so I, now I have traction control and ABS I'll twist a little bit more now I have 6 gear with 60 km per hour twist the throttle can you hear this? accelerate with again with this shocking noise hmm, not sure about it so maybe in theory it has like a, a few more horsepower but uh, in reality I don't feel it and I even felt it underpowered because of this sound that it makes I don't know.
because of the poor suspension that it has when I twist the throttle a little bit more like 130 40 on the road like this not perfect roads it's jump like a ping pong on the top let me show you again I, I don't feel safe at all Right by wire definitely much better than uh, the one on the tenere smooth power even if I twist harder it has a kick but not that noticeable as the tenere has I feel it much lighter absolutely visibility in the mirrors very good I'll say even better than the Tenere maybe because they are more on the side maybe because the handlebar is wider to do maneuvers on a small street definitely easier than Tenere because it's lighter twist the roads I hear this choking sound Definitely pleasure to ride it on the twisty roads, but the suspension that it has just kills everything. Not good at all. Let's see now what will be on the open roads. and 20 5.5 hundred rpms from 11,000 all together tenor have got 12,000 I think that the tenor have got a little bit higher rpms but not sure about it wind protection it's all right screen wider than my tenere but it's all right I think it's okay maybe it's even better than the tenere maybe a little bit less buffeting on my shoulders 130 6000 rpms listen again this sound Again. Full throttle. Let's make another test on the dirt road off road mode. Definitely feel it lighter, especially on a low speed. But I cannot say in any way that it is better than Tenere Not at all With this suspension It's just not good at all I don't know why No one even discussed this They all say that this is a Tenere killer Whatever Why? Just because of the traction control and uh, cruise control 
This is a completely different thing. But the ability to change lanes, to go over obstacles, is something very important that uh, I cannot see that it is better here. Once again, probably for the fifth time already, the stock suspension of the Tenere is better than the suspension of the Aprilia. Even though they made sounds very similar, they've got some differences. Of course, I'm not gonna do any technical off-road, but this is not a motorcycle for technical off-road. This is an adventure motorcycle, which is mean that here and there you have to cross uh, terrains similar as the one that I'm riding now at the moment during your trips. Of course, if you want to make something more uh, seriously, it will be always better to change your motorcycle. But this road I know very well because this road I I'm using almost every single day going home and that's why now my impressions in terms of uh, dirt roads Tenere is better even with the stock suspension with the, the upgrade that I have made it's completely different story and maybe worth to be made with this model as well I'm guessing that they already have got a stiffer springs on the market so it will definitely help to have a better handling because now it's just nothing just jump like a goat nothing more or less and this choking sound I just cannot cannot get used to it it's good that you can change the modes on the fly now I activated the ABS and traction control again. Whoa. I don't have this sound with the Tenere and I don't think that the Tenere is slower in terms of acceleration. It is so much better on my Tenere, so much better. And now straight on, on the Touareg from my Tenere, Touareg. Uh, I don't know man, it's like, like, cannot even describe it. I don't feel that safe and secure with it. Yeah, it's definitely steeper. <laughs> sit from one to another and you'll see the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. difference is huge all right I got a different suspension but even with the stock suspension the motorcycle was much better as I said many times now with my Tenere 120 stay like a brick all right just straight on now it feels more soft here okay So bad man, so bad. Really noticeable. And it is even more noticeable when you ride on the roads like this. Twisty roads with bumps on it. Then when you switch from motorcycle to motorcycle, you, you can notice the difference. Huge difference. The lack of power, the choking noise, and pumpings like this. My tenure accelerate immediately. It is just so much better. Nothing more to say. One thing I didn't show you. This is the, the difference between the sounds of the 
engine and the uh, exhaust. This is the engine. This is the exhaust. This is now the Aprilia. Now the sound from the box. And then the exhaust. In overall, they are more or less the same motorcycles or the same type of motorcycles with a few small differences so Tenere is more suitable for me because I don't mind all of this cruise control, traction control all of these modes I don't use them, I don't need them Aprilia from the other side got all of them traction control, cruise control, different modes uh, features that many people will love to have it also has this beautiful TFT display that many will enjoy it of course, uh, I cannot say that it's bad, no, it is wonderful, it is visible, it is much better than the Tenere. Tenere is very simple. The new model of the Tenere 2023 has already a colorful display, but not that nice as the Aprilia Touareg. Uh, overall view, how it looks like, it's very subjective. So which one is better? I cannot tell you. I prefer the Tenere, many will prefer the Touareg. But uh, I have heard many times, many people said that uh, Touareg is a Tenere killer. I cannot really agree on this, but again, it is very subjective. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you Roma to share his opinion about uh, the motorcycle, his ownership at the moment, why he bought it, what is his experience so far, and I hope that this information will be useful. So Roma, please tell me briefly, why did you decide to go for the Aprilia over the Tenere, for example, what is your experience so far? Do you have any problems and how you feel it for the near future? So, yeah, I, um, I was looking at the Tenere and the Touareg uh, for uh, traveling around Europe every a few weeks every year. And uh, the Tenere was very difficult to get, uh, new, almost impossible. And so I looked at the second-hand market and to be honest, yeah, there, there was a lot of uh, motorcycle that had... Um, a lot of accessories and they were quite expensive and I found this uh, Aprilia Touareg which was a demo bike for a good discount and uh, that's why I decided to go with this. Um, so far it's been great, you know I've done uh, 8,600 kilometers around uh, from, uh, from France to here in Bulgaria and uh, yeah it's been doing good, uh, no mechanical problem. Uh, I've done a few modifications for comfort and protection so I'm not going to be a, a super expert off-road, but I've done a few uh, tracks, uh, you know, dirt roads and uh, rocky roads, and it's been fine. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's doing the job of touring around Europe and doing a little bit of off-road when I need to. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Once again, for letting me ride it and your opinion. So we hope that this will be helpful to at least a few people. Yeah, yeah hopefully. See you next time. Ciao. Ciao.